Alright boys, welcome to episode 14. To start the episode, I just want to go ahead and show you guys a little update on the farm here. So I've changed it up a little bit. I lowered it down one because I kind of just didn't like how like high it was and then how low everything else was. So now you can actually like reach everything, even from just standing at like this top block here. Everything's working completely fine. I also added in stairs and glowstone to the back, so those like columns. Uh, I also covered the uh, shroom lights that were underneath there, so I covered those with slabs because with both lighting, it doesn't really like make sense to have the shroom lights to show. Plus, it kind of cleans up the whole look anyway, and the light still comes through. So everything's lit up pretty good. I'm still gonna probably do something. Maybe I'll, I'll probably hang lights to be honest with you. I was gonna do something for the floor right now. But I think instead of uh, changing it for now, I'm actually going to leave it uh, just because I don't know how efficient this farm is going to be. So I don't really know what I want to do. Um, and I kind of want to leave room to have it like go down more if I need to add more storage. So for now, I'm going to leave it as is and let this kind of just work as it's kind of going. Uh, and there's actually a project that needs some attention at the moment. So if you guys watched the last episode. Right at the end, I said that I was going to go ahead and- Oh my god, I'm so sick of these Endermen coming down here. But yeah, so that skeleton spawner uh, that I was talking about last episode needs some attention. Uh, Lightning was trying to set it up and apparently was going to set it up to be some type of like other farm. And I don't think it was going to be an automatic version of it, which I want it to be fully AFK. So that way we can literally just stand there and hold whatever tool you need. Uh, and it, it'll just automatically get it down for you. That way you can kind of like walk away and do stuff if you need to. So... I'm going to go over there and I'm going to start working on that and uh, I will talk to you guys when I get there. Alright guys, really really quick update before I go over there, I have just been getting some stuff put together. I'll show you guys real quick. That's what I'm going to be using to make the farm. Uh, but I just had this wandering villager, uh, or wandering trader, sorry, come in here and I was kind of just like, uh, what's going on? What does this guy have? Because I usually check them before I kill them. Um, and this guy right here is selling, and I don't know if this is like an amazing trade, but personally, for what I think, instead of making like a giant gunpowder farm or making, yeah, making a giant mob, like a giant almost mob farm, this in terms of like how much time I have to put in for the, for the gunpowder, one emerald for a gunpowder, like I know that's not great, but if, even if I can get like 32 gunpowder, that makes like three stacks of, two to three stacks of fireworks, and that's like fine for a long time for my elytra, so... To me, I don't need, I don't need fireworks like crazy right now, I just would like a couple stacks. I think I'm gonna keep this guy around, and he also is selling moss blocks, which I'm pretty sure moss blocks are really difficult to get, so I am going to take advantage of this guy, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and name this guy, and I'll show you guys in just a second, and his name shall be Jesus, Jesus, welcome, uh, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and I have quite a bit of emeralds, so let's go ahead and trade with him. Jesus, accept it. Okay. Gunpowder. Okay, I can only get eight. That's actually not the best. But let's go ahead and get the moss blocks too. I mean, if he's just like chilling down here and it kind of like refreshes every couple days, still like it's just kind of like a homie in the, in the base, and I can just get stuff from him whenever. So I'll keep him around. It's not too crazy of a trade, but maybe. I mean, there's there's literally no way we get another guy down here like him, but. Jesus is now in the game, boys. All right, I actually don't remember if I made this ladder, but I did find the coordinates for it. Yeah, lightning is down here. I think he just said he's gonna go shower, so we'll, we'll be down here with him. Okay, here is the spawner. It is dug out, but not well. <laughs> I will have to go ahead and uh, just start working on this guy. So I'll get back to you guys once I get everything set up. I'm gonna completely finish it all off and then uh, yeah, I'll be back.
can come over, bring your best friend, let's head back to shore If you were in my stance, probably clock out When we make this music, we don't watch what we talk about There's probably a reason that I went and took the long route If not, wow, gold digging, got a stock crew Asking for some love in a way, man, that I asked you Shady motherfuckers get cut, can't make the edit Especially when they leave your name out, the ending credits Karma come for you, bitch, and your whole life regret it Fuck, we talking same vibes, you never had them, that's pathetic I know they say just want me for the prize It's hard for them to look me in the eyes, bitch, I'm fired up Me and Slip are grooving down the aisle, looking for the bad girl Nice smile boys it's the next day and i basically took all night to grind this place is it's in the works right now we'll just say that um but it is working i went ahead and i healed all of my tools i actually did a bunch of enchanting last night on a specific sword combined all of the swords i had because i've been missing looting three and i just not having a lot of a lot of stake and stuff has just been super annoying so went ahead and did that last night i'm sorry i didn't record it we had friends over so i was recording and i just didn't have my mic on but I called it the Destiny Blade, and then the second I did on the TV, somebody said death. Like the someone's name was Destiny, and it, and someone was like, "Hey, Destiny," and I was like, "Yo." So it is the blade, bro. It is uh, the Destiny Blade. It's meant to be, and uh, that is gonna be our sword. And I'm never gonna make it netherite because it is what it is. Uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna put mending on it just because I I. I probably will. I'll, I'll do it eventually, but I'm not going to do it for now just because I, I, it doesn't need it. It hasn't breaking three. It'll last forever. Uh, it does have knockback, but uh, yeah, it just has it has knockback on it. It is what it is, boys. Just just deal with it. But uh, I went ahead down here and I brought a ton of books because if you guys remember, uh, I think it was episode, I want to say 10, we did the Ender Dragon fight. I could be wrong on that, but we collected a ton of books from the Stronghold, so I brought an enchantment table. It looks disgusting, but I didn't want to put them like out here I didn't want it to protrude in this area so it is about dirty it is what it is and it'll stay here for now um, now there's not a lot of stuff I guess there is some stuff in there looks like nobody else has been online dude I have K on this on this farm for maybe an hour all those chests are completely full like the amount of bows that drop from this thing is just absolutely ridiculous uh, so I'll go ahead I did put a lighting fixture in there so uh, I'll go ahead and just kind of show you guys the circuit I know that it's probably you guys will see it sped up but um it basically just kind of runs down here and then if you guys ever want to do this for your own worlds it's pretty cool little thing you just put redstone lamps and then you got to make sure that you have uh redstone repeaters that way the current can keep going but you have to put them all in the same like line so yeah they all have to be facing the same direction so they have to be like a big circle basically um and yeah that's kind of how it is if you guys just heard that slime i do need to go ahead and add um slabs or torches out there on every block that way sli uh, slimes don't spawn but yeah right now what we got is just literally like this awkward ladder that's like here and then another awkward ladder that goes all the way up so eventually i will be putting uh water elevators in here so one there and one there um and i'll probably start working on that after uh, we finish off today's episode so to today's episode what i want to get done is if you guys know the headquarters has a base layer of andesite on it it's just basically like that basic block uh you know what let's go ahead and head over there that way we can kind of get into it
right, guys, I decided to go ahead and just get all the work done on the floor. I, I showed you guys uh, just a ton of, like, sped up uh, time lapses and stuff in this episode, so I'm just going to show you guys the finished product and what I think, at least for now, is what I'm going to have going on. Hope you guys do like it. Here it is. This is what I have right now. Now, I definitely need to, like, add lighting sources in. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do that, but I do need to do that. Maybe I'll, like, put them in the floor. I, I don't really know exactly how to do it. I mean, I don't know exactly how I feel about this redstone. Now, I did start a farm over here that has like nether wart and I was going to use this and I went to the nether and I mined a ton of netherrack because I was going to make the like red um, netherrack is what or nether nether brick? Let me look what it's called. Yes, so the red nether brick. This block right here guys is what I was going to change the redstone out for and the reason I was going to change it out is because well, one, I do not want someone to come in here with TNT, put one down, and just, like, absolutely dominate the base. Which, after thinking about it, talking to a couple people, if that ever happens, they're gone immediately. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, it'll just be an L if that ever does happen, which it shouldn't happen because I've been very, very, I guess, strict is the word, um, with who's been joining this realm. Uh, and uh, I'm honestly like really confident in the people that are playing right now So I've had a lot of fun and I've been, I've been enjoying more than ever the people that have been playing and things of that nature um, But yeah, this is the finished product for now if you guys have legit any Questions or comments that you guys have about this if you guys like it don't like it think I should do this or that let me know because There is very well a chance that I may change this in the future but I think it does look like pretty sick. It almost gives me like a hotel vibe. Like, you know, if like you look at like Home Alone in that movie, like it just kind of gives you like a a chill area. Like it, it's kind of dark. Like, it, I don't know, it's just like a vibe in this room now. So uh, I'll definitely need to work on like get, making it kind of like stretch into other areas of the base. Like, I don't think it is a, it, I don't think it continues to other areas very well. Like, I mean, I guess most of these areas just aren't even finished, but like, even like here, I don't really know, like, I don't like that, obviously. So I'll definitely change it eventually. Um, but let me know if you guys have any, like, thoughts on what I could do to, like, spread it in here. I could just do what I did, I'll go show you real quick. So yeah, I could just do what uh, I did in here, where I kind of just have it, like, trickle in, you know, just placing blocks every, every so often. I could do something like this. That wouldn't be too difficult to do, but I don't I don't know how it would look, to be honest with you. Um, but, man, our area is starting to look nice. If you guys look at it, let's just go ahead and fly up. I have a ton of fireworks now, so I don't got to really worry. But, like, look at that, man. Look how cool that is. That looks so freaking sick. Like, you guys cannot lie. That looks so sick. But, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the episodes. Uh, if you guys did, please leave a like on this. What the f <laughs> That was kind of funny. Uh, if you guys are enjoying them, please do leave a like because it really does help the channel out more than you guys could ever know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.